Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. In this video, we're going to look at the evidence of whether or not polar bears need summer sea ice. Around the time Stonehenge was built, there was little sea ice in the Arctic, and it may have been periodically ice-free. Mean July temperatures along the northern coastline of Russia may have been 2.5 to 7 degrees Celsius warmer than they are now. Trees grew all the way to the edge of the Arctic Ocean in Canada, where the tree line is currently 100 kilometers further south. So for hundreds of years, around 6,000 years ago, there was much less sea ice in the Arctic, yet the polar bear population survived. It's quite likely that there was no ice at all during some summers of that period. Temperatures in the Arctic were much warmer during the summer, yet the polar bear population survived just fine. The historical record shows that polar bear populations do not need summer sea ice to survive. 7,000 years ago, carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere were very low, somewhere around 250 parts per million. Yet temperatures were much warmer and there was little or no Arctic sea ice during the summer. So the historical record shows that carbon dioxide levels control neither the temperature nor the amount of ice in the Arctic. Now let's take a look at the present. There's essentially no sea ice in the Hudson Bay. Every year there's no sea ice in the Hudson Bay for three to four months at a time. Yet the Hudson Bay polar bear population is very healthy. And in fact, they're so numerous they're a nuisance to the human residents of the area. A 2004 study predicted that the western Hudson Bay polar bear population would drop as low as 676 by the year 2011. But instead of declining, the population of the polar bears in the western Hudson Bay increased. The wildlife director for the government of Nunavut said polar bears are one of the biggest conservation success stories in the world. But Cassie Siegel of the Center for Biological Diversity says that's false. The Center for Biological Diversity is an international advocacy organization that in 2008 successfully pushed to have polar bears listed as threatened in the United States. Polar bear populations are in decline. That means individual bears are starving and drowning. What she's saying contradicts the actual data. So we might ask, why is the Center for Biological Diversity spreading misinformation? They're pushing the superstition that the burning of fossil fuels is hurting polar bears. They're doing this because they're taking in tens of millions of dollars from wealthy left-wing foundations, including Pew, Rockefeller, Jane Fonda, Ted Turner, and the Patagonia Fund. Many of its major gifts are laundered through donor-advised funds. The center uses its millions to fund a team of activist lawyers that files lawsuit after lawsuit. The name of the organization is the Center for Biological Diversity, but one of their primary goals seems to be to shut down the supply of reliable, low-cost energy. Google also is promoting the superstition that the burning of fossil fuels causes polar bears to get old, sick, and dead. I got an email this morning from Project Veritas titled, CNN Promotes Climate Change Programming Because Fear Sells. They filmed one of the top people at CNN saying, Be prepared, it's coming. Climate change is going to be the next COVID thing for CNN. We are going to hone in on it. Toto realized 14 years ago that all this climate propaganda had nothing to do with science and was about targeting the supply of low-cost, reliable energy. He's been barking very loudly about this. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Tokinupla, on the web at realclimatescience.com.